Hey guys, it's Cameron from Riley and Cameron Outdoors. This is the first video that's going up on our channel. It's just going to be a, like, I'm going to be showing you everything that's in this tackle box. Start off, it's a Fenwick 1060 decent sized tackle box. I've had it for a little bit. 14 inch long, 3 trays, 32 compartments. Pretty decent tackle box, I'd say. Now let's just get into this. As you can see, I have a lot of a wide variety of grubs and little feather tail things. I don't know what they're called. These are my white and blacks. I have mainly two kinds in there. These two little grubs. And here is just a variety of them I'd say. But I have three types in there. These are these types. Pretty nice. I've caught a lot on those. These are my red compartment. Pretty nice. I like them a lot. This is my... I'm not really sure what these are called. But yeah. That's in that compartment. I have a lot of swivels. That's that. Oh, and there I have a rooster tail from stuck on a swivel. So I have a rooster tail, and I really like these a lot. I've caught a lot on them. They're really good. I'd recommend them to a lot of people. I have some hooks in there, some jigs, even my bigger grubs. I have a clearish green, a black, and a white. And over here I just have a couple different colors of just grubs. Now if I open this up, as you can see I have a couple of lizards in here. Just a couple of those. I have decent sized swim bait and a smaller swim bait. So those are pretty nice. I like them a lot. I have this like weird top water like frog type thing. I'm not sure. It's kind of cool. And I just have some big circle hooks and just jig hooks over there. I have a blue type of worm. Decent size. Just black and blue. Over here, it's like a. Uh, I'm not really sure what to call this color. But it's same size. Uh, here, this one is like a dark green. Same size as the others. And then. Over here, I have this. Let me get it out. Black and red. Same size as all the others. Might be kind of hard with this lighting. But black and red. And then on the other side, I just have pure black one. For whenever the water is murky and dark. And then... Down here I just have some big egg sinkers, some bullet sinkers, and a couple of snelled hooks ready to go. Right here I have a decent size minnow. I really like this. It's pretty good. I would say for that. I haven't really caught anything off of it. But it couple bites, but that's it. Over here I have this gold and black minnow. Pretty decent size also. Then right here I have this purple and silver uh, deep diver. And then I have this little rattle trap, I think it, they called. I'm not really sure. Looks kind of like a bass. Orange belly. Black top. 
pretty nice. And then in this little compartment, it's kind of old. Yeah. I have some older jigs that I don't really use and like scrubs. Same for this side. These are just jig heads. Have a normal uh, stringer. And gulp catfish chunks. I have a couple different kinds of yum. There's a crawfish and there's a bunch of different like season type things. And there it smells just like if you walk into a candy store. I'm not even joking. And I have some blue, uh, black and blue tubes salted. Whoops. Uh, premium fishing line, 15 pound test, 300 yards for some bass and catfish. 6 pound. This is crappie, 500 yards for some. Crappie, bluegill, and same for this, 8 pound for crappie and bluegill. I have some. Some bigger snails, six saw it. Uh, yeah, I like those. Pretty nice. Right here, I have some. This is actually my cousin's, Riley, who is also on his channel. This is his bass attractant, and this is also his garlic spike it, dipping glow. And this is my crappie attractant. So that's pretty much been my tackle box. And I'm going to be uploading a video on all of my rods and reels that I have. I have bait casters and spinning rods. So stay tuned for that. And see you guys in the next video.